Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to uh, talk about uh, testing an accelerator pedal position sensor. Now, most APP sensors, as you can see on screen, um, the, the APP sensor, it's right on the accelerator pedal. Um, we do have a bunch of uh, these that are they're separate. Uh, and it looks like a TPS from the old uh, uh, fuel injection uh, systems. Uh, and basically, it's separate. Um, but it, it serves the same purpose, uh, even if it's separate. Uh, we're going to cover the one that's uh, integrated with the pedal uh, on this video. And basically the APP sensor is a dual or triple TPS. 80% uh, of the time it's a dual TPS. So basically why two, why put two or three uh, uh, throttle position sensors in there? And by the way, it's a potentiometer, okay? And you're gonna see that uh, on, a, on, a photo, on, a, on a picture later on in the, in the video. Uh, and basically it's for redundancy. That's why you have two or three. Uh, so that if one fails, you still have the other one. Uh, the vehicle is going to operate in limping mode. Uh, if one of them fails uh, or there is a correlation code um, where the uh, signals don't match what they're supposed to have, uh, uh, basically, those, so it's for redundancy, pretty much. Now we're going to explain uh, the connections and the signals uh, that you typically typically find in, a, um, in an APP sensor. And what it is, is you're going to have two 5-volt uh, reference, references and two grounds, two sensor grounds. They may both come in the same wire and they get split somewhere in the wiring harness or they may come with a separate. Usually they're, they're separate uh, from the ECM itself so as not, uh, so as not to mix and match uh, these two. Uh, the 5-volt reference and the ground, they are the same uh, in respect uh, that they are just five volt and sensor ground, okay? And there is one signal out uh, per uh, TPS internally. So you're gonna have two signals coming out. And uh, you're gonna see that the signals, they change uh, in a totally different way uh, per uh, these two uh, um, internal TPS or basically uh, throttle position sensors. Now in this particular unit, we were able to take the cap off. Uh, some of these, by the way, you can take the cap off um, lots of uh, repair shops, they spray some uh, uh, contact cleaner on these guys because they do become uh, dirty over time. Uh, and that, that pretty much solves most of the problems, uh, believe it or not. Uh, oftentimes you can't because it's worn out, the ca carbon tracking gets worn out and there is not much you can do about it. Just replace the throttle position sensors. They used to be uh, expensive, now they're not. So it's, it's up to uh, whoever, you know. Um, if you're a DIY and you, and you wanna take, uh, take a chance on it, you're not gonna damage anything by cleaning it out. Uh, don't use uh, harsh fluid, use uh, electronic uh, contact cleaner, okay? Uh, so basically, it, it's, as you can see on screen, they have separate, uh, power and grounds for these uh, dual TPSs in, in the uh, inside uh, and and so um, Pretty much spray it out, you know with a little uh, um, Electronic brush, you know uh, Brush the thing make sure it's clean as hundred percent dry it uh, with air and that's it Now that's a DIY way to clean the, the APP sensor. Okay, it is uh, not recommended by the manufacturers, but um, a lot of things are not recommended by the manufacturers and they pretty much, uh, they work. Uh, if it saves you money and uh, it works out, and then you can do it. You're not gonna damage anything. Now in this video, we are going to use the blue voltage. Uh, that's an ECM tester that we have on our website, autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com. The blue voltage uh, has, uh, it provides the five volt reference, but it's regulated, and it's, it's rock solid, stable. Uh, you connect it to your battery and you can pretty much uh, inject the power and ground. So if you don't wanna use the, oftentimes uh, you have a, a throttle, uh, an APP uh, signal, uh, correlation problem, and it's not that you replace the APP, and you, uh, the APP sensor and you still have the, pro the same problem. So what, what is it? Is it the ECM? Is it the wiring harness? Is it the connector? So pretty much by using the blue voltage, you uh, uh, pretty much isolate the system 
Um, you disregard the, the wiring harness and the uh, ECM, and you can actually test the unit and make sure it works. Again, the APP sensor pro pro provides a 5-volt uh, reference, 8-volt reference on computers or 8 volts. Um, a sensor ground and it also provides a cam and crank and wheel speed sensor output in case you need to uh, uh, to inject a signal to the ECM or, or, or just to see uh, if the wiring harness is broken or if it has excessive resistance so it, it has all these things uh, right on the same unit. Now on screen uh, we're, uh, we're showing you uh, what we did uh, basically to uh, um, to bench test uh, the accelerator pedal position sensor uh, we're also going to show you the signal and how uh, how you can read and what you have to look for uh, in the APP sensor signal. And it's basically the same way as reading a TPS. It's just that it's a dual signal and it changes differently. One changes differently from the other. So as you can see on screen, uh, we fastened the uh, APP sensor to our bench. Uh, and by, uh, by actuating and connecting, we connected the blue voltage to the APP sensor power and ground uh, voltage and 5 volt reference and ground. And we are actually uh, connected um, uh, channels 1 and 2 of our graphing multimeter or an oscilloscope set to a long, a really long uh, time base. Um, uh, you could use a graphing multimeter as well. And as you can see, uh, basically the signals, they change inversely proportional. Uh, so as one goes up, the other one goes down. Uh, and basically, it's just, you know, that's just the way it is. You, that This is what you're supposed to see in, in, uh, in there. Now, um, there's one thing uh, that, uh, and we're going we're gonna to show you later, actually in a, in a, minute, in a minute or two, um, what you're looking for are blind spots, okay? Uh, basically what a blind spot uh, spot looks like uh, it's um, as you can see on screen right now it's a glitch it's a momentary glitch sometimes you can actually expand the time base a lot and you can actually see it even better but even if if it's not it, it just make sure that you actuate the uh, uh, the throttle position sensor very slow okay so that you can actually manage you can manage to graph uh, uh, the blind spot if it has any. This is the main reason where you're going to get a code uh, for the accelerator pedal position sensor. Again, um, oftentimes there is no way to fix this. You just have to replace it. Um, some uh, guys, are, some of my customers, they report that they've uh, they kind of cleaned the APP sensor, uh, road tested and uh, um, uh, advise the customer that the APP sensor was cleaned rather than replaced for whatever reason they maybe it was too expensive or you know uh, some some of these units for the especially for the for the uh, the high uh, luxury cars they think they could be expensive so but anyhow for whatever reason they did not replace it they cleaned it and then uh, uh, once the customer was advised or, or, or some of the you know if, if you're a DI1 you want to take a chance but anyhow uh, and it, it has corrected um, uh, problems with blind spots, which is, in this particular case, it, it would have been uh, due to a dirty uh, um, tracks, you know, inside the, uh, the potentiometer, dual potentiometer inside the sensor itself. Now, again, uh, basically the way you, uh, you connect it, the uh, blue voltage is uh, you connect it to the, um, as you can see on screen, uh, on the uh, uh, connector, uh, you identify which one's the power and ground, or, or actually the 5 volt, which will be the power and the ground, and the sensor grounds. You have two of each, and then identify which one is the uh, uh, the signal wire. Once you do that, you connect it to um, a channels 1 and 2 of your graphing multimeter or scope, and you're pretty much done. This has been a pretty straightforward video um, for testing accelerator pedal position sensors and how to actually connect uh, the blue voltage uh, or from our website, Auto Diagnostics and Publishing, to test this unit. You can also uh, test it by just uh, tapping into the two signal wires using the actual the ECM um, uh, provided uh, 5 volt and the ground or 8 volts and a ground on the, on the two sensor grounds. Uh, so anyhow, uh, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel, our YouTube channel, ADP Training. Uh, subscribe to our channel and our website. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, we, what we do is pretty much uh, we explain the uh, higher tech uh, concepts of testing um, 
uh, components and how these uh, the automotive uh, technology operates. And uh, again, we'd like to thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.